George Landis Arboretum, Esperance Village. This is where we're going. All right, I'll. So today oh, is June 19th, and we have Tall Meadow Rue. That's what this yellow one is. This is called Tall Meadow Rue. And you can tell it's rue because it kind of looks like the rue anemone. Uh, the, the leaves are very much rue. And then, yes, we do. We have raspberries. Mm -hmm. and then, Did you just plant these or have they been nope, percolating? They, yes, they have been spreading. Yeah. We've been letting them. That's good. Honeybee. It's and this honeybee. is the first... It's a honeybee. It's oh, it is a honeybee. Oh, my God. Wonderful. Oh, I'm thrilled. Same. I hope he brings it home to his too. little bee friends. Oh, You guys have such a wonderful garden. It's nice. It's so beautiful. I like bees. I know. I love the milkweed so much. Yeah. More people should plant it. It's a wonderful plant. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what this one's called? This one? Mm -hmm. I do not. This one's called lamb's ear. Lamb's ear? Here, this is feel, lamb's ear? Yeah, feel the um I always the confuse lead. it with mullen. Everyone because, confuses yeah. it with mullen. Yeah. Mullen people is call, a very different plant. Yeah, it's very similar-ish, but like uh -huh. only its leaves are similar. Oh yeah. no. What the hell is this one doing? This one's growing like it needs help. That's the loose strife, yeah? You got it. This yeah. is indeed yellow loose strife. I love the loose strife flowers. I love that you are very smart and know all the flowers now too. Yeah. You are definitely a smarty pants. Yeah. Um, I actually just wouldn't be able to date you if you weren't. Me neither. I would not be able to date you if you weren't. Oh, that's the wood sorrel. Yes, it is. Are you grab me one? Here we go. Mm. This one's super nice. You want to go see the mullen? It's blooming. I do. All right, I'll follow you out the front gate mm -hmm. or the back gate. Mm -hmm. That's another one. Yeah, that's like a weird one. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> right. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> the war begins. Yes, that's what I said. They're up to something. They, they are. Yep. This is a weird type of mullen. Mm. It's huge. Yeah. The tallest mullen I've ever seen was taller than me. Wow. It was like legit. Yeah, it was at the wow. cemetery. I was like, what the fuck? This one may get to be that big. Yeah. Mullen is like a huge plant. Like, people it really underestimate is. it. Because they find it like, oh, lambs here. Yeah. It's like, no, this is mullen. Oh, basil? Parsley? Yep, probably. Yeah. Very probably. These, these are all herb plants. Oh, I love They them. are, yeah. It's my mom's herb, herb garden. I love it. We, we gotta go check in on the pumpkins. Uh huh. We'll check them to, at the beginning of the day and the end of the day. Because they're gonna grow. Like, look at them. They've like doubled. Oh my god, they're so cute. They've, they've so like. Happy little leaves. They've like quadrupled in size. Aww. And number. When they first started, they were like. Um. They were so much smaller. Aww. This one's already starting to do the thing. I will have to give you some yarrow for my yard. It's there's a huge yeah. amount of yarrow. Yeah. I'm cheering. I need to thin out these. the raspberries this year too. <sighs> raspberries are real thick, and I don't want them to take over my currants. The lupin's going. Yeah. Wow. How's the cactus? Probably not too good. Whatever. Probably not great. I like the penstemon digitalis. Mhm. Mm Let's see if my yarrow got eaten. Nope, it didn't. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's still... Oh, it's the flowers! The well, flowers! Well, there was one that had bloomed and it got, you could see it got eaten. The bunny rabbit ate it. It got eaten by the rabbit. <laughs> and this is going to get eaten oh, probably too. I love that you labeled it. That's so cute. Yeah, my mom did that. Aww. Yarrow Octus something. Achillea. It's not right. That's, that's not... That's not it. It's a Kelia millifolium. Uh huh. But whatever. I mean, like, I don't care. Yeah. I'm actually going to remove this. I don't think plastic should be in the environment for Me any either. reason. It should be wood. Yeah, like, or nothing. Like. Yeah. If you want to label it, use wood. Yeah, agreed. Ready to go back? I love that. It has pollinator, the pollinator habitat. habitat. Oh, that's very cute. 
let's go around the front and see the other flowers, the coriopsis and all that. Yes. He was acting very good with this. Mm -hmm. I learned so much about plants. He used to be such a boring yard and we would mow it. And I hated mowing it. Yeah. And I vowed to never mow again. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, and welcome back to Rainbows and Razor Blades, a show from the void. By the Gregorian calendar, it is currently the 19th day in the 6th month, the month of June in the year of the Lord, 2023. By the French Revolutionary calendar, and this is important today, yeah, it is the very first day in the month of harvest, the month of Mesador. We come live today from Esperance, I think that's how you say it, Esperance, New York, uh, Schoharie County, I think is how you say it, and we're at their town hall. We're here to do a First Amendment audit. But yeah, we actually are at, uh, we are literally at the town hall, so I just thought it was funny. I put a thread on my local Reddit that um, basically was talking about where are the good places to find flowers. And so someone suggested that we go out to the town of Esperance, because I guess somewhere out here is a... Um, like an arboretum, like a thing with uh, like trees or whatever. So we're gonna go check out whatever that is with the trees and the flowers. So as you can see, everywhere in New York really, every major waterway is the same. Um, this is Japanese knotweed, and it is, as of, as of now, in my opinion, the most invasive plant in New York. And it's not even fucking close. Like second, would probably be oriental bittersweet just because of the way that it kind of moves through every ecosystem and just kind of grows up everything and spreads so pervasively but the knotweed is super fucking hard to get rid of and that's kind of the issue is that like once it colonizes it kills everything like there's nothing left it's just this and you can't get rid of it like you can't mow it you can't do anything because it's uh it's just gonna you know come back so yeah, so thanks for joining, guys. Um, I'm gonna cross the road here. And, uh, yeah. George Landis Arboretum, Esperance Village. This is where we're going. All right, off we go. But first, yep, yep, first moment of auditing. Oh my God, yeah. Audit, this, audit, this audit. Needs it. That's what I'm saying, right? Like. Yeah. Bog Garden. Sweet. Visitor's Center. Fucking sweet. So we made it to the Arboretum. Today is June 19th, 2023. And it looks like a whole bunch of crap that I unironically could not care less about, to be really honest. This is invasive. I do not care. <laughs> yeah, you can read it. I'm gonna go identify some flowers. Let's see, up first, we got Vupu Lupu. <laughs> All right, so we got Black Medic. That's, uh, that's what this one is, Black Medic. We got Trifolium Repens, the White Clover. We have uh, Buttercups. We got Daisies, and then above the Daisies, that's called Dock. It's not really a flower, but then this one over here, this is kind of cool. This one over here is called Birdfoot Trifoil. You'll find that shit everywhere. And then we got Plantago Lancelotta. Bam! The White Man's Footprint. Now it looks like we got some uh, Forget-Me-Nots. Yup, that's what those are, definitely Forget-Me-Nots. We got some Creeping Charlie. Also known as ground ivy. What the hell is this one? Um, I'm not joking, by the way. This one's called ragged robin. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, I don't know what that is. Some other dumbass plant. Another daisy. All right, let's look at some of the planted ones. Wow, good job, guys. You totally didn't mow down the fucking flowers. <laughs> Ridiculous. I have no idea what the fuck these are. These are crazy. What the hell are all these? This is some fucking crazy shit. This, I'm gonna do everyone a favor here. This is invasive. This is, uh, 
Japanese knotweed. And then what I'm going to do, sorry, the little snail, I'm going to go throw it in the road with the intention of drying it out because otherwise it's toady potent, which means that each individual spot right there between, you see how it's segmented, like the same way that bamboo is, each individual segment can grow roots. So there's no really good way to get rid of this shit. You need to uh, basically use glyphosate or uh, it's like Roundup or whatever. And that's really the only way to take care of it at all. Like, it's serious. These are called purple irises, actually. Oh, a little floaty thing. That's cute. And then the little white ones down here, those are gallium. That's kind of cool. And then it looks like climbing it, although it hasn't bloomed yet, is probably hairy or crowned vetch. Those are invasives, but whatever. Who cares? See, look. You see it's coming up everywhere. This shit right here. And it's like where you see it is not even where it is. Like, it's like the root underground is obviously where it is. But, like, yeah. So... Same thing, throwing it in the middle of the road, hoping it gets, you know, sun bleached to death and can't find more soil. But again, it's like, it's a losing battle. Like, this stuff is fucking everywhere in New York, as I said. There's not really much I can do to stop it. I do not know what this is. Maybe pink meadow sweet, but that's only a total guess. This one's a buttercup again. But yeah, I actually don't know what that pink one is. That's something that someone probably, like, planted and is not a native. Or is not just like something you find on the road. The ones that fascinate me is like over here. Like I just like, I love just the stuff. Like here's another cool one. Chickweed. That's what this one is. Chickweed. The white one. Similar to the gallium, but it's actually different. You see this, the shape of the flower is a little different. One's chickweed, one's gallium. This one's trifolium protense, the purple clover. And it is not related to trifolium. Well, it is related, but it's not the same flower as. It's not like a different expression. It's a different species um, than this one. This one may be actually like alcyc clover which is also known as like Trifolium hybridus, which is a misnomer because it's not actually a hybrid. There's no, like, like it's a, it's a totally different species called alcyc clover. And then it looks like, uh, my guess is that this is going to be some grape. Yep. So we got some grape. So we're already at like 15 different species here. That's fucking lit. Two of them I didn't even know. I'll have to come back for them. Yep. Grapevine growing on, uh, uh, baby honeysuckle. I actually forget what this is. I'm really bad with bushes and shrubs. All right, we're gonna start walking the trail now. We're gonna go walk the Fred Lape Trail and I'll film every flower. Ooh, actually, speaking of flowers, this one right here is Multiflora Rose. Kinda cute. Like, it would be super detrimental to our mental health if we did not hit this type of flower. <coughs> Therapeutic, <coughs> medicinal. <coughs> Recreational for me, man. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm having a recreation day. <laughs> Thanks for joining. We'll be right back after this. This is the vetch I was talking about. This is the hairy vetch. You can tell because it's obviously not crown vetch. Do you know the other one, the white one? Um, yeah, is that is that just vetch? It's not. It's gallium. Oh, oh, sorry. I thought you meant the other vetch. No. Yeah. Ooh. Are you done? Ah. Uh, yeah. I guess this one right here is a dawn redwood. I don't know anything about trees, by the way. Like, that's what I'm... I will in a sec. I'm filming the tree. I'm trying to get the ISO right. I'll just ISO lock it. I'll be lazy. It's fine. This one right here is Creeping Jenny that I just stepped on. Fuck you. It's an endangered deciduous conifer. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. It's the shortest of the redwood species, but redwood species can get up to, uh, the, this redwood species can get up to 165 feet tall. Wow. So, short is relative. I think this is not the best place to lay down. I think we should get further in. Hmm. All right, I guess we're here. <laughs> that's, that's, you were overruled. I was gonna say, I'm outvoted here. So I, I looked it up on the app and it, it is confirmed as what I thought, which is Ragged Robin. But I also learned that it is in um, the Campion family, was it? I'm not sure if that's the right word. Please don't quote me on that. But it said it's, it's something, a form of Campion or something like that. And, and actually looking at it too, it, it looks kind of like white Campion, where like the white comes out the top. It looks similar to that, I guess, if I could look at it like that. I, I'm not really sure. But... There's like a million different fucking names, but it's most commonly known as winter crest. I'm glad I double checked that because like yellow rocket crest is something a little bit different. I remembered like as I was saying it, like I it just like I got a weird feeling. So I double checked it and I guess this is known as winter crest. 
So, very similar name, but uh, yeah, kind of cool. I know nothing about the plant other than its name. <laughs> I really couldn't. This one may be Queen Anne's Lace, like Wild Carrot. But I'm just going off of the leaf, and I'm very bad at identifying just off the leaf. The the hair on the stem is also rather... In ah! ah! Bees nest. Oh, oh, what? Bees nest. I got stung real hard. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that hurts so bad, dude. Fuck. Oh, that's terrible. Are you allergic to bees? No, I don't think so. I'm glad you're not allergic to bees. Fuck. I just want to film it swelling up. Is it... Like yellow jackets or like honeybees? I think it was a yellow jacket, but it hurts so fucking bad. It hurts oh so, so bad. It still hurts. Oh my god. Oh! I'm glad you're okay. That's, yeah. um, that's awful. <sighs> Shit, man. You got some water for it? Yeah. I should probably do that. Yeah. Oh, give me my water bottle. Yeah, we should really bring out a first aid kit when we come out here. See, my veins are going fucking crazy. Okay. This is like, what, T plus, what, five, five minutes at most? This is at most five minutes later. Yeah. Christ, this is one sting too. Why do you only got stung one? Same dude, yeah. I mean, I, I was swatting at it. I saw it, it saw me. Oh man. I'm just as aposomatic. Like, to be fair, I was in its space. Fred Leap. So he's got a whole road and a whole place. Ooh. My whole arm is like starting to like oh my God. swell. It's kind of gnarly actually. Shit. You can see it's like going up. Mm. Blue veins. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wicked. Do you get a medical attention? There's nothing. There. It's a beast thing. <laughs> like, it hurts. It hurts way, way worse than it's going to do to me. Oh. It yeah, is. Dude, you can see it. It's a whole ass strawberry. Well, you could find it. Nah, don't eat it. Leave it for the field mice. Anymore. I only see that one. That's why I'm definitely not gonna eat it. Mm. it sucked. It still sucks. Like my whole. I feel like I have to crack all my knuckles and it wants to start shaking. Oh my god. Yeah, it's kind of lit. Oh I hate god. how this episode has been converted from like a fucking flower episode into just like a medical study episode. Oh my god. Medical so study beastings. <laughs> horrible. <sighs> Completely stumped here. So check this out. There's like. Like, whatever this is, like, it looks like maybe, like, it could be spiderweb or something. But, like, I don't really understand, like, what it is that I'm looking at. And it's not just on this leaf. It's on, like, literally every single one. The, oh, you know what it could be, maybe? Maybe it could be from, um... Uh... Like, uh, poplar trees. Like, those white snowflakes. Maybe it's sticky and it's sticking to it. Oh, maybe it's a gum tree. It is sticky. It is. That is what it is. Gum a gum tree? Yeah, black gum tree. Gum tree. Well, I know they're out here in New York. Hmm. Here, I'll use the picture of this app. We'll get the name of it. Some uh, hawkweed that is almost blooming or maybe has already bloomed. I think it's almost blooming. I think it's almost blooming too because it's in the shade. It's also been blooming everywhere else like around too. That's how... Yeah. You know, I mean, you see the stuff everywhere on the side of the road. It's called hawkweed. Yeah. I think it's pronounced heracium. This one here is maybe a baby locust tree actually. I know it looks like a shrub, but it's probably not. You hear that frog in the background, too. Yeah. More strawberries here. Maybe that's a beech tree leaf. Hard to tell. I don't really know my trees. There, there are some really nice flowers here. Some, some wood some sorrel. Flowers. I think those purple are the good smelling flowers. Those are called ragged robins, and I don't know. I don't know if it, those smell. I love that. That's, that's where I got stung was next to those. Not these particular two, uh -huh. but like I was near the gallium in those and I got stung. I see, I see. Now I have to tell everyone it because I'm thinking about it. So as an update, my it's been like uh, probably about 25 minutes. It's feeling much better now, but uh, the pain is strange. Like it, it, it traveled all the way up to my shoulder and it's like actually starting to spread to my neck like here now. Very, very bizarre. Like it spread first, like, you know, up to the, it spreads, my guess is venom, like up the veins. It's a very strange feeling. What are you all looking at? That's what, that's what I was filming. That, that whole time, that's what I was speculating what it could be. Okay, so the Shinigami has pointed out that actually the path does not end, and we're going, we're going this way. So hopefully I don't get stung again. There's more of the clover stuff. 
chickweed. Oh, hey, a new one. This one is uh, maybe Philadelphia. It's hard to tell, but the color is like pink. Maybe Philadelphia fleabane. Definitely fleabane, but maybe Philadelphia. Is that a spider? No, it's not. So that's kind of cool. That's a new one for the day. That's like our 15th flower of the day. Bees are fighting over. What are? That tree with the. I love when bees fight. I miss yeah. it from childhood watching yeah, bees me fight. Me too. I heard the buzzing and I got worried. <laughs> right. They're just uh, they're just pollinating that tree. This is going to sound really weird, but I'm actually starting to feel it's not pain. It's definitely not pain, but I'm feeling it in my tongue. Oh my god. It's super weird, yeah. I wasn't expecting what? that at all. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it. What? <laughs> right? Same, yeah. This is a baby oak tree. Not that far from here. And then these flowers are called yeah. speedwell, common speedwell. Probably in the Adirondacks. Yeah. As an update to my bee sting. It has gone, my assumption is, it has gone to my heart and has now circulated my body. It, my tongue, at one point, didn't, like, it didn't hurt. Like, my, my knees and my legs don't hurt. The way I described it to my friends was, it feels like I'm having a panic attack, but I'm completely calm. Like, it's definitely, but it feels like that same level of, like, tension in my body. Like, I'm about to, like, oh, freak out. It's kind of weird. Are you really right now? Mm -hmm. Hi? Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm barely stoned. Every time I get high, though, I don't. <laughs> this is the very last little pathetic Dame's Rocket. R.I.P. Kind of sad. I'll see if I can find more. Yes, it does. And then uh, also that plant was a fern. More geranium. Geraniums are <laughs> done blooming. God, it is. Oh, oh shit, he's teeny. Hey. Oh. Right there. Oh. <laughs> I don't see it either. Right here. Oh. oh. No. Hop, hop, hop. Oh. Cool. That's a toad. Yeah. Lady. Doing little toad things. Don't come near me, you goofball. Oh. Alright, let's, oh. let's stop. Let's stop. Yeah. Oh, he's so cool. He's Wait, pretty. watch out. He's just having fun. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that was a good find. Yeah, that's a good find. He blends in so well. I like to add the words terrestrial land toad. Uh-huh. Because, one, they're terrestrial. Yeah. But, two, it's funny because it also kind of implies that maybe there's extraterrestrial. Yeah. Yeah. Or that there's, like, non, like, an aquatic land, like, you can't say an aquatic land toad. Uh-huh. That's a frog. That's a frog, exactly. Terrestrial land toad just sounds the best. Mm-hmm. So, if I'm not mistaken, this is marijuana. No, I'm kidding. This is a, it's actually a sink foil, also known as five finger grass. And uh, let me double check that though. With and saw this. This is herb Robert. It's in the geranium family. It's called herb, like H E R B Robert, like their name. Herb Robert. Fucking weird, right? And you can tell because of the leaves. This is a really bad specimen though. This is like these plants get like big, you know, not huge, but like much bigger than this teeny little nonsense right here. That's why I said we should have left more time. Like, it's pretty sweet. We all have to come back here. We will. So apparently there's an audio tour here, which is really cool. I'll definitely be coming back here. And this is talking more about, like, Fred Leap. 85-year-old. Cool. Yeah. Oh. I hope someday I can leave a living legacy. That's cute. I like that it's uh, two tiers. I think about this all the time. 1% of our original old growth white pines survive. Wow. That's crazy. Really is. Is this where we were looking for? Yeah. This is the old growth? Oh, no, it's not. Sorry. Oh. Uh, I was like, this is, uh, this is super, super nice, but it's not old growth. We got to here. Mm -hmm. This is the Fred Lake Trail. Then we go on the Pioneer Trail and we can see bluebirds, and that will lead mm. us to the old growth. Cool. Yeah. Where are we? We are here, Fred Lake Memorial. <laughs> oh shit, we're like pretty far away. Yeah. All right, let's get hiking then. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, we got quite a bit of ground to cover. Racing daylight. 
Ah, uh, here's more of that five finger grass I was talking about. God, it's beautiful out here. Mm-hmm. There's a road. Uh-huh. When I was just like walking and had to stop to film it, I think that this is Penstemon digitalis, also known as Foxglove Beard Tongue. Which is just a ridiculous name if you think that about it. Like, Penstemon, like P E or pe Penstemon, P P E M O N S. I don't know how to spell Penstemon. Doesn't matter. I can't this spell while filming. Yeah? That is not. That's a uh, trefoil. Trefoil. Yeah. Yep. T R E F O I L. Trefoil. Yeah. Trefoil. Yeah. The other one's gallium. Yeah, that's definitely foxglove yeah. beard tongue. That's actually a native. Wow. If I remember correctly. <gasps> Achylea millifolium. The white yarrow. This one's Ooh. lit. Yeah. The most lit. Oh, it is. Yo, that's, isn't that sick? It's a whole ass yarrow. Oh my god. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. Pretty sweet. <laughs> oh, man. Leap stone. I'm glad that they have that as like a marking. All right. No hunting or trapping. We will press charges. <laughs> Good for them. Yeah. Who the fuck would ever come here to like... Oh, yeah. See, look. It is the gypsy moth. Yeah. But that's not what I saw, though. Yeah. It's it's look at all similar. This... Oh, really? Mm-hmm. They're everywhere this time oh. of year. Oh. Wow. They already ate all their shit. They already ate everything. Look at this. Uh -huh. Wow. Shit. Shit. Oh, no. Onward. You want to see the spittle beetle, actually? Sure. Ah, oh, sorry, little dude. Wow. Yeah. It's in there. Yep. Yeah, it is. It's there. It's eggs are in there. One or the other. It yep. like excretes it through its butt or something. Yeah. It's, it's like a modified right. urine or something. So I, I'm yeah. giving out fake facts. These are like half facts. Yeah, I, I have, I had a lot of those in my yard as a kid. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right, sorry, little dude. You go back there. All right, onward. All right. I hope I didn't kill that one. I, I, it occurs to me that I may have. Uh, there are plenty more. <laughs> There's plenty more. I'm glad I looked this up to double check. I had actually misidentified it. This is Indian hemp or like a, like a dog bane, like Indian hemp dog bane it's called. I don't know anything really about this plant. I had thought this originally was a milkweed when I first saw it, but then I was like looking at the top of it. And I was like, ah, I'm going to double check that. Because I was thinking it was like some sort of swamp milkweed, but it's definitely not. It's a... Uh, Whatever the hell I said it was. What what did I say it was? I don't remember. Dogbane or something. Pretty fucking cool though. And then there's like a ton of buttercups gallium. Is there any milkweed? Like More this looks like a place. There. What are you looking? More eggs right there. Oh, the spittle beetle? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, there's the oh my gosh, this stuff's everywhere. Yeah, it is. Wow, okay. If I'd seen this I definitely would not have identified it as milkweed. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And there are probably bluebirds in those houses. Oh, that'd be where, so cute. Yeah, this is where you find bluebirds. Or like fucking house sparrows that have attacked. Yeah. Eagle project something something troop. Oh, I see. It's like an eagle troop thing. Mm -hmm. Kind of cool. Damn, how many flowers do you think we've seen today? Like at least 20, right? Yeah. At least 20. Definitely. That's a good day. Mm -hmm. So, Bay over here found the cutest plant. We both love this plant. This one's called orange hawkweed. It's similar to the other hawkweed that we saw, but this one is red. This one's not quite blooming. It's kind of, you know, maybe past where the sun is hitting it, obviously. It's closing mm -hmm. up for the night. Mm -hmm. I don't actually know if they do that or if it has I never bloomed. I don't think they do that. I don't think I, yet. I think they do that. They do? I have no idea. I don't know if they, like, close up every night. I know a lot of flowers do that, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure if this is one of them. I don't think it's one of them. You don't know. Well, how, how do you know? I don't know. You think it just blooms in wilts? I feel that too. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah. Right here is called White Avens. A V E N S. White Avens. And I know nothing else about it other than its name. But I know that that's correct. I looked this one up literally yesterday. Because I actually was spelling it wrong. I was spelling it like Avon. But it's actually Avens. White Avens. E N A V E N. Come to your door and sell you shitty blush. No. Avon cosmetics. No. <laughs> More hawkweed. That's like what, 25 flowers or something? Uh, I'll put a tally at the very ending. But it's a lot. 
the thing with clovers is you can identify white and you can identify purple, but pink isn't necessarily a hybrid, and there are so many species of documented clover, it's not even funny. Some of them are, are engineered, many of them actually, by humans for things like cattle grazing um, or erosion control, among many other reasons that I don't really know about, probably. Like industrial uses and stuff. But like, yeah, this one right here, who knows, like, is really what's going on with this. Is this the same bug as before? Which bug? This is sex. Where are you looking? Oh, the spittle beetle? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it is. Good find. It won't really focus, but... Yeah, I think it is. Cool. Yeah, they're everywhere here. Oh, There's a good population. Whoa, really? Look at that. Where are you looking? Oh, yeah, they're like all like, up there. Can we pass these fish? Bees do not fly in the dark, so if it's too dark, they won't even do it. Wow. Like, it's actually crazy because you could turn the lights on, off on them, and they literally just drop to the floor and stop flying immediately. Like, it, it, it's, it's literally a switch. Wow. Like, yeah, you can watch, like, a bunch of videos on YouTube about it, and, like, I don't really know why that is, but, like, they just, like, yeah, they will not fly in the dark. It's crazy. <laughs> it really is. Are, are wasps the same way? I don't know. I only know that yeah. bees are like that. Maybe they are. It'd be super cool if they were. Yeah. About shrubs, I got this one wrong. I I, I said honeysuckle. Uh, that's the most common thing that looks similar to this. But this one's actually dogwood. Did it did it say what type of dog? Oh, gray is dogwood. that a, a gray dogwood? Oh, well, I'm filming this little bug. Then I'll film the strawberry. Yeah. Oh, those are not strawberries. Those are something else entirely. What the fuck? Is that a gall or is that a fruit? That looks like I think fruit. it's a fruit. That's super fucking weird, dude. Whoa. What the fuck is that? Wow. That's the weirdest thing I've seen. Sarah, wow. good find. You got very good eyes for this. Yeah. All right, onward from the dog. Like crabbing, too. crabbing cool. that makes sense. Yeah, Sarah, you got, you got autism eyes. This one's fucking honeysuckle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crabbing was a lot of fun. I also <laughs> liked crabbing. Did you go crabbing? Let's go next. That would be cool. I don't want to go harass crabs. What the <laughs> fuck is this? Whoa. <laughs> what the that fuck? That would be great. I love crabs. Let's go. Let's do it. I love crabs and mussels. I like seafood. I boycott all seafood. Why? Because we're not sea creatures. Alright. I'm still gonna eat it. <laughs> yeah. That's how I feel with taking Native Americans' land. Uh, <laughs> it's not seafood. No. Pioneer Trail. Hi. The Woodland Trails. To the fox sedge we found yesterday, this one is called shallow sedge, and uh, or a common or true sedge. So if you ever wonder what these little fucking things are called, you could call them sedges. That's probably wrong, but like... That's how I remember it. It says the spiky. And then, uh, yeah, they don't even hurt. It's kind of cool. Whoa, what's that? What are you looking at? That is a seed from a tree. Oh. Uh. Yep. And then next to it is jewelweed. All that, all that down there is all jewelweed. Mm -hmm. And maybe actually that other one was maybe an aster. Mm -hmm. I see some purpley flowers in there. Those are, I think, forget me nots. Me too. They, like they are indeed forget me nots. I don't want to get closer. It's unstable. Yeah. Onward! Good find. Uh -huh. Not blooming yet. It's gonna be a big, big purple flower up here. But this one's definitely bull thistle. Just like look at it. I mean, it clearly is a thistle, but this one specifically is bull thistle. I don't really know exactly how I know that. It just kind of looks different. It's I think it's because it's like a much thicker stem. Yeah. But yeah, this one just looks. It's just called bull thistle. This one's a really cool plant. Mm -hmm. All right, onward. Some goldenrods there, maybe? Maybe. I think a lot of these are actually goldenrods, now that I'm looking around. Too early. Ooh, that's plantain. The other one was similar to this. It was mm -hmm. talking about how... Actually, I'll just go back yeah. and film it. I'll catch up with y'all. You see that like old tree over there.
wild. I'm going to feel the bark. Yeah, do it. Ooh. How's it feel? It's it like rough? It feels organized, yet grooved. Oh. Yeah. It reminds me of poplar, but like not quite as yeah. shaggy. Yeah. Stay stag-headed tops. Wow. Moss growing up the trunk. Ooh. Wow. This is quite the sentence. The Plant Collections Network coordinates a continent-wide approach to plant germplasm preservation, promoting excellence in plant collection management. That's some buzzword shit. Yeah, it is. It includes 80 accredited collections through North America, stewarded wow. by 75 participating institutions. Pretty lit. I hope one day I have my own institution. Yeah. Nationally accredited, da da da, da. I'm not reading. That's too dense right now. Y'all can pause it. Pause and rewind. It's very strange to me how oh. I'm going to get in uh, the left. New Orleans. Flat? This isn't flat at all. No, it isn't, but like, look at how like, the land just ends there. Yeah, look at this tree, like, actually. Like, yeah. Like, look how far out this branch goes. It's so cool. That's that really wild. That oh my one god, one that's a there. huge Yeah, let's go see tree. it. Let's go see it for sure. More daisies. This is the nicest spot. It says, uh,. 2017 Eagle Scout Project. Cool. Good place for Eagle Scouts to do some Eagle Scout stuff. Yeah. Whoa. Maybe you uh, Eagle Scouts should do a little better. <laughs> Blame them. <laughs> wow. I bet this was like a lightning strike or something. I think it could have been. It could have even been old age or yeah, look rough. At it. It's dark. It's dark. Do you think that's scorch or do you think it is uh, like I, I lichen? Think that's scorching. I do not. I think it's a lichen because it doesn't seem to have changed the like whatever the word is. Like it doesn't really seem to have like dented into it at all. Mm. What do you think of this caterpillar? This fucking what? gypsy moth up there. Oh shit, yeah, it is. Couldn't get him. It is. Definitely is, yeah. Yeah. So Sarah's got another good find today. This one's a dragonfly. I don't think it's dead, but I don't want to disturb it. Oh, no, no. I thought the plant was dead. I thought it uh. was, like, a part of the dead plant. Then I noticed the yellow. Oh, wow. Yeah, the black, the back is even cooler. Yeah. What an incredible animal. Yeah. Okay, that was one of my favorites. Is it alive, even? like? I think so. I think it's hunting. Yeah, it's alive. Did it move? No, I mean, I, I blew it. on it. Yeah, yeah, and it stayed. But that makes me think it's dead. No, I think it's alive. I think it's dead. Oh, oh yeah. it's alive. Yeah. Sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you disturbed his hunting. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. doing something. Yeah. It's one juicy as little worm. Yeah. I was like, bro, stop poking me. <laughs> I'm definitely alive. Why are you just blowing up his spot, bro. <laughs> fly, fly over here. <laughs> that was kind of cute, though. Like two of them hooting to each other. Wow, yeah. So cute. Mm-hmm. Frog shirt. So Frog shirt gang. So what? Yeah, it's seven miles. Whoa. So this will be another day. Yeah. It says the water. The waterfall trail is approximately seven miles out and back from the lower parking lot. Sturdy shoes and drinking water are recommended for this rugged trail. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we don't have the daylight for it. Yeah, that makes sense. It's already eight ten. But now we know we have to come back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice. I'm glad they put that there. Yes, same here. This is a very, very welcome yeah. sign. Yeah. I'm actually genuinely surprised it's not on the like like carved in and painted, yeah. you know? Yeah. I'm like, whatever though. Like, Alright, so let's let's check how far out like the bass trail goes. 
Um, the Bass Trail is the Red Trail. So We're at point eight. Yeah, so I think we are here. We would go this way if we were going to the Ancient Forest. We would go... How far out is the Ancient Forest, it says? The Ancient is Forest Is that the Green is, Trail? Yeah, it's the Waterfall Trail. We do have to come back. Yeah, we do. Shit. I know. I guess we go this way. Yeah. Yeah, we can go into the Bass Woodlands. Cool. I love old stone walls. Yeah. It just like someone put so much energy into just like making it. It was like a property boundary. Probably yes. Yeah. I wonder if the people that built them had like a job to do it, you know? Yeah. Like that'd be oh, kinda really? Yeah, like... It might just have been part of, like, general farm work, though. I think so, too. Like, I think, like, everyone just kind of did their own thing. Yeah. But who knows? I think we may not even take this path Whoa. today. Because there's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Little Charmanders. These are called Red Efts. They're Salamanders. Oh, my God. And, uh... So many of them. Yeah, there's... Out because of the mud. Definitely. So, We're yeah. in their little habitat. We are. Do you want to film one? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Top 10 gooby boobies. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Oh, pick one up for It's called Stupu Dupu. <laughs> Look at him move. Stupu so Dupu. Cool. <laughs> Over here, we got Glub Thomas Weppel. <laughs> I fucking love you. <laughs> <laughs> Be really careful we don't step on him. If we go this way. Be very careful. Over here. This guy, TJ Cream, what a beast. What a beast. What a beast, TJ Cream. <laughs> oh shit, they're everywhere. They are. I'm being very ginger about it. Right, babe, I think the whole entire thing is gonna be these vocals. Sounds like a car alarm, kinda. The birds know the sun is setting, that's why they're doing their calls. <laughs> Alright, I think there's no more. I haven't seen any more. Yeah, okay. Oh, yep, there's more. Oh, Mr. Denmark! What a beast. <laughs> Whoa, that's a big one. Oh shit, he got spooked by the spider. Aww. That was really funny. <laughs> Well, I like how they run. Yes, yeah, they kind of wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. They're very vibrant colors. They are. They are. This is actually oversaturated. It's more like that. IRL. Alright, let's continue. Yeah. <laughs> Guide. Maybe yeah. they've planted literally every single one of these here? Yes. yes That's super yes, cool. Have. They're all like right here, I guess. No, oh, I see. They're teeny yeah, tiny. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they're currently growing. Cool. Yeah, what a cool project. It is. I hope these live. Uh-huh. Me too. All right, onward. Sunset's getting kind of nice. Same. Apparently, apples, pears, and peaches are also members of Rose family, wow. but are not native except for one wild apple species located at the far end of the collection. Wow. Super weird. Oh yeah, look at that, a rose. Yeah. Yeah, that's a whole ass rose. Potentella fruticosa, shrub sink foil. What the fuck, I've never heard of this. Yeah. This is wacky. This is a native or not native? Yes, I think so. I don't know. I think it actually probably isn't the native because it says yeah. like it's not. Well, no, that's like the the fruit trees is the, what they're talking about. Apples, pears, and peaches. They're, Look they're at all these. The mm -hmm. Oh man, I gotta come back here and like really yeah. sit sit here and just like learn all these. Yes. POV on me, and I know all the yeah. roses. But mm -hmm. <laughs> like, that'd be crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're gonna get to go by the frog. Mm -hmm. 45 I didn't film it but we got like not like lost but like a teeny little bit lost here will you film me yeah thanks babe 
I love you, Queen. Mm-hmm. Sure. I'm not a musician. <laughs> but it is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. you, play smart, too. Mm -hmm. you gotta really smack it. Hit it with the broadside. Like, like you're holding it backwards. No, no, like. Stop telling me what to do. Sorry. It's amazing how one tiny little simple pond attracts this much life. Uh huh. Anyways, guys, we are back at the car. This has been uh, the Landis, Landis Arboretum in Esperance, New York, I think. Mm -hmm. And it's June 19th, 2023. Thank you so much for joining. We'll be back again another time. Mm -hmm. Actually, right as I say that, I see more flowers. So actually, I take that back. Peony. Are they? Yeah, that's a peony. Hell yeah. Nice yeah. ID. Yep. This is like lambs here. Maybe. I'll check in a second. I'm filming all the other ones. There's a lot. These ones are roses for sure. Mm -hmm. It's too dark to really film. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining. And uh, yeah, thanks for visiting. We'll be back again really soon. This has been Rainbows and Razor Blades, uh, June 19th, 2023.